Temple Monastery of Ktsumi Fushu Miao is one of the most impressive buildings in Chengde. Overall, there are eight remaining so-called outer temple monasteries. Each of them was built in its own architectural style. Seven of these temples are still very well preserved. Translated, the temple's name means happiness and longevity of the summery hill. Xumi Fushu Miao. The temple was built in 1780 to mark the visit to China of a senior Tibetan religious dignitary, the sixth Panchen Lama. It represents a copy of his own monastery in Tibet. Sixth Panchen Lama lived and meditated in this reconstruction of his monastery in Tibet. During his stay here, the buildings must have provided a truly magnificent setting for the religious leader. A small exhibition of religious art is contained within the grounds. This Buddhist holy place is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Xumi Fushu Miao is considered to be among the most beautiful architectural buildings in China. The great red terrace with its main building, the lofty and solemn hall, represents the most important focal point of the monastery, a true masterpiece of 18th century Chinese architecture. The construction of this monastery played an important role in the diplomatic relationship between the Chinese Emperor Qing Long and Tibet. In 1781, the sixth Panchen Lama was the first Lama in history to visit neighboring China. Tibetan cultural figures and symbols included in the stunning architecture refer to the origins of their design. In honor of the Emperor's 70th birthday, the Lama gave him a valuable present, an ivory drum. Some of the facades can be seen shining in luminous red, thus making yet another reference to the original building of Tashi Lumpo in the Tibetan Xiagatse. The more secluded rear section of the monastery is dominated by fine woods, perfect for a stroll and to contemplate this fascinating place. 
This tranquil courtyard served the Panchen Lama as a place for meditation and inner peace. The multi-level roofs of Xumi Fushu Miao show the highest aesthetic and artistic finesse. Numerous enchanting ornaments decorate the splendid roofs of these captivating temples. Total of eight gold-plated dragons grace the ridges of the twin level roof. Although merely an additional detail, these dragons are one of the main attractions in the monastery complex. are decorated with traditional Tibetan portrayals of animals, such as elephants and a variety of mythical beasts. The splendidly designed roof of the main hall is completely covered with gilded bronze tiles which are stunning and captivate the eye. They also add a magnificent and majestic finishing touch to the beautiful building. It is almost impossible not to be drawn into the great variety of imagery as well as the highly artistic harmony between nature and the architectural designs of Xumi Fushu Miao. Innumerable treasures are contained within the surrounding 38,000 square meters of the monastery. Monastery represents an impressive example of late 18th century Chinese architecture. Right up to the present, the original buildings and furnishings are as they were in former times. An exhibition of Buddhist art is located within the temple area. Even though in the early years of the Buddhist faith, the actual portrayal of Buddha was frowned upon. However, in the 18th century, attitudes changed and Buddha was increasingly depicted with due dignity in many different postures. Mm -hmm. 